Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing the zombie vault over walls tutorial. So let's get into it. First thing you're going to want to do is go into your zombie. So if you're using a base zombie, this will pretty much cover them all. So you're going to go into their animation blueprint. You may already have this done, but it's a very important step. But you go into the animation blueprint, go into the animation graph, and we're going to copy this upper body node here. So we're control C, control V. We're going to take the copy one and we're going to set that to full body. What that does is it allows us to use full body animations for our zombie. So anything you want to do that involves a full body animation, this will cover it. And compile and save. And we can close these out. Then what you're going to want to do is go in to your AI zombie, your zombie animations, and I'm going to include a vault animation for a placeholder. You can use a your own if you like. You probably have a better one than I do. So I'll include this vault one. Then we're going to select the skeleton. I, it's a UE4 skeleton. Uh, HGT, you can see it there. That's the one we're going to be using. And we'll import it. Then when it imports, we'll just click Save All. Then we're going to right click on our Vault Animation. We're going to create an Anim Montage. And what we're going to do with this montage, we're going to open it up. Uh, the speed on that's kind of slow, so I'm going to set mine to 2. You can adjust the, the play rate, but the important part is right here, the default slot. You're going to want to set that to full body. That's basically what we just changed in there. That allows the zombie to play the, the whole body animation. So that's done. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is go into your base zombie. We're going to create a custom event down here. I'm going to have it up on paste bin as well. It's only an easy one. So this is basically all it is right here. This goes inside your base zombie. It's basically a custom event. It's a collision event. You can call it whatever you like. And all it does is say play the anim montage we just created, which is a vault, when we hit a trigger. So we're going to make that trigger in just a second here. So compile and save. You can also adjust the play rate here. If it plays too slow, you'll have to play with the values depending on your zombie and application. All right, we've done that. Then we go into HGT. Blueprints. I like to call a, make a new folder and call it custom collision. I already have it there. So custom collision. And then I like to create a new blueprint. And it's going to be an actor. And I'll call this um, vault collision. We'll open that up and what we're going to do is add a cube in here so we'll add a cube to our scene we'll shrink that down kind of expand it out and I'm just going to knock that up a little bit like that perfect then inside the event graph, I'm going to put this on a paste bin for you guys too so you can use. All you're going to copy is this code here. So what this says is that when your zombie overlaps this cube, it's going to play the animation that we set it to. And you can also use this sequence if you have other zombies. Maybe you have, um, I'll show you right quick there, say you have a zombie class that is something different from what comes with uh, Whippy's template. So we'll duplicate this and we'll say your zombie. Your custom zombie. Maybe this is a different zombie. So we'll save that. And what this sequence node does is it allows you to cast to another zombie. So your custom zombie would be in here. So you cast to the custom zombie, 
and then that would do the same thing. So that's all you would do. You connect that up, and then both zombies this will work for. All right. So then what we're going to do in our scene, once that's all set up, you can see I set up a little kind of makeshift wall here. So what you're going to want to do is make it push P on your nav mesh here to make sure that the zombie can pass through the wall. So how I do that is this down here is blocking the zombie. So you're going to go into this portion of your wall. This is how I do it. You can do it however you like, but this is how I like to. Is can't ever affect a navigation. Uncheck that box. And then you're going to want to go to collision. And the preset is invisible wall dynamic. What that does is it allows a zombie to pass through the wall, but you cannot. So we'll go ahead and check that out. So I shouldn't be able to go through, but he can. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. So I can't run through the wall, but he can. Then what we're going to want to do, we just made that custom blueprint. So we will go into our blueprints, custom collision. We'll bring this in. I'm going to match that up with the wall best I can. Alright. This is just to test it out. We're going to have to set the collision on this again too. So we're going to have to go inside of the blueprint for a second. And on this cube, inside the blueprint, the vault collision blueprint, we're going to set the collision to overlap all. And what that does is that allows that trigger to work when they hit this collision box they should play that animation where am I at here there we go perfect so when he hits that trigger box he's gonna play the animation right over that so that's exactly what we want and you can also set this custom blueprint you can set this cube to not visible so you, so you can't see it when we're in the game of course so let's take a look here set the visibility off and if you ever want to adjust these you can just set your visibility back on and uh, you can adjust that because otherwise you don't know where it is so there he's playing that you can adjust it based on whatever you need but that's the basics of it hope this helped you guys out and have a great day